Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and do that now while you're listening. And if you're not a part of the channel box, I would love for you to join our family and friends up in there. <laughs> It's a dollar and ninety nine cents to join it. You do have to be at least eighteen years old. Um, today I am showing my reborn collection. Now, it's obvious that I am missing some others, but this is the reborn collection of what I painted. So I did a silicone, my silicone baby collection. If you have not seen that video of all the silicones in my private, my, I mean personal collection that I painted, and now these are my reborns and my personal collection that I've painted <clears throat> and it's all that that I have um left so all right so I'm gonna start from left to right as always um and I will go there let me see how many I got one two three so I only have five that's crazy. That's I have five silicone and five reborns that I painted. So I have ten babies that I painted myself. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to be like an old friend. I used to uh, joke with her because um, at the time I was not painting and she had just started painting. And then she she didn't want to sell in the community and she just kept painting and painting and painting. At some point she did start to sell for a little bit and then she stopped. But anyway, she ended up with like 50 or 60 of her own dolls in her collection and it's like she was never like letting them go they all had names um they all had themes it was just crazy like well her theme was either Disney and Sesame Street which is <clears throat> who had originally started Disney Monday <clears throat> was was that particular person so anyway um left to right so we have Taraji and Taraji is the Mealy Sculpt. Uh, I'll hold your head up a little bit. Let me see. Okay. So, yeah. So, she's the Mealy Sculpt um, by Ping Lao. And she is painted by myself. And she was rooted by Penny with Sentimental Babies. Um, <clears throat> and then she, Taraji is... So, I'm going to just introduce them first and I'll go back and tell you all their little stories that I have. I've probably shared before, but I like to share it for new people. Then, um, she's holding Katie Lauren. I'm sorry, Katie Lou. And Katie Lou is actually the Lauren sculpt by Bonnie Brown arms and legs. But her head and tummy plate. Ugh, it's hard to get her to turn around. Her head so her head is the Lulu sculpt by Joanna Kazmarak and her tummy plate, which is so cute. I just love it. Her tummy plate is actually, it's out of sorts now. I hate when they stick up and stuff. But anyway, so her tummy plate is actually, um, and her head is uh, the Lulu by Joanna Kazmarak. Okay, let's get her back in a better position. I don't want to get in the camera so much. Um, and Taraji is not helping. She doesn't particularly want to be babysitting, I guess. Um, this stupid. So this is why I don't. I don't care for the, the tummy plate sometimes, because they get in the way. But this is our tummy plate. So anyway, I'm gonna put it off to the side. Um, so, oh, here you go. That fit better, don't it? See, yeah, mommy, I'm not so, so cramped up. All right. So, all right. So, we got that. Katie Lou is painted by me. Hopefully, she'll get here. <laughs> um, and the Zora. So, Zora is another what people call Frankenstein babies. Because they've mixed up. She is the. Oh gosh. Mar. What's it? Oh my gosh. She's Cassie Bray's head, but the. 
Uh, I can't think of the name now. Margot, I think. The the Margot. 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 Something. Uh, head by Cassie Brace. And her arms and legs are um, the limb sculpt by uh, Bonnie Brown. Um, and then you guys know Elijah. Because you guys should have just seen a video of Elijah. Elijah Jacoby is actually the Sandy Sculpt by Joanna Kazmarat. And then Piper is which is what he's holding is the uh, half pipe by Marita Winters and she's painted and rooted by me. Alright. Oh and I did I say that uh, Zora is also rooted by Sentimental Babies. Um I personally picked out their little hair. Uh, it is two different curl patterns. Um, Zora hair is much curlier than um, yeah. Zora hair is curlier than than Taraji's. Taraji have you know more of a slight like wave to it. Her hair is actually so okay. So Z Taraji was kind of an inspiration. My inspiration was my real daughter, my second born daughter, um, which is actually a real artist. So she was in her painting, mainly her face, face painting and her complexion was a model after my real daughter. So she's a very special baby. Um, the first time I seen this kit painted in person, I just couldn't stop crying. Um, it was just so emotional. Um, I actually wouldn't mind having mo even more of this sculpt. Um, so, yep. So I had her, I wanted her hair to be rooted with hair that was similar to my daughter's texture hair and just the whole nine yards. But anyway, um... And so that's her story. So she's she's a forever baby for me. Um, and then uh, Katie Lou. I want to keep saying Katie Lauren because I had a Katie Lauren. So the original Katie that I had <clears throat> that's adopted by a friend in the community, um, which they have a very unique story because or like they link together because. I named her after my grandmother. My grandmother passed in December, December the 11th, and her name was Katie, so I named her after her. And the reason why the original was named, because when that first happened, I shut down, I stopped eating, I wasn't drinking, well, I was drinking, but I wasn't like eating and drinking like I should or whatever, I couldn't really function for some days probably like a whole week or so so all I did was I ended up eventually getting up and just like painting this Lauren sculpt and I got so caught up into painting Lauren sculpt and it just really relaxed me and it was really the only thing that kind of took my mind off of everything that was going on around me and so I just felt like I was like, you know what? And that I got so emotionally attached to that that doll so fast. And she was um so I named her Katie Lauren. But eventually she went off her hair and when she came back, I don't know why, just there was a bit of a disconnect because sometimes it's so weird. I think because I have them ball for so long and I connect to them ball and then they go out and get hair and sometimes it's like Either I love them more or I don't love them at all. Or And I still loved her, but I just was like, you know what? I don't know. So, and her hair was amazingly rooted. One strand at a time. It had nothing to do with the rooting. Um, so she went to that particular collector. And that collector actually lost her mom. Like, I think maybe a month after I lost basically... My grandmother was like my mom, so, and she named her after her mom. So, it's like, I don't know, it's just really 
crazy how that happened. So we both have like somewhat a version of a Lauren and they're named after our, our, our mothers. So that's their story. Zora is a story of just, I just really loved the head, the Margot head. And um, I didn't necessarily like the limbs. I still have, oh no, I sold the limbs. Someone wanted, eventually somebody wanted to buy the limbs and I sold them. I was gonna show them to you guys, but, and I sold them. But I didn't necessarily like the, the limbs on that sculpt. So I tried it out blank, how she would look with the uh, limbs, uh, limbs. And just to make sure they was, she was gonna still be proportionate. I think her head could have, then to be a little bit bigger, but it's bigger. It, I knew once she got here, she was definitely going to be like a perfect fit. And I think she just looks perfect. I think she looks very proportionate and so on. So, um, that's, that's, I had to, I had to have her. And I, so I put them together like that. And that's that. That's just basically, that's it. That's my whole collection story. Um, I will come back. I think I, well, I already did a video where I showed the Reborns that's not painted by me. Um, I don't have that many of those. I only have one, two, three, four. Well, I have this. Well, I have my private collection. I have a few more. But anyway, I have this is this, but there's only one other Reborn or no, never mind. I was just gonna try to count. I think it is like another four that you guys are have seen in my reborn collection. So that makes me have a total of like nine reborns. One, two, because I sold my Tink, um, Babalera baby. So I have Joey left. So I have one more toddler, and then the rest are babies. So I have. Four toddlers and one, two, three, four, five, five babies reborn. So that's nine reborns and five silicone. So I have like 14 babies in my collection. That's where I'm at. And I'm actually comfortable with the amount that I have. Um, but like, it's almost like I don't. I don't know, like I don't really have space for much more. So, and I have one more silicone, but I mean, I, I am having one more silicone baby coming. I'm so excited, uh, Nori. So she's in process. So, I'm being painted, so she'll be coming, but that will be added on to my silicone collection. So yeah, and if I don't try to keep this last one, <laughs> I'll be only have six. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them. Um, I am about to... Taraji will probably wear those pajamas for another month or so. Um, her and Joey still got on PJs from I don't know how long ago. Um, but Zora and Katie is going to get changed. And I need to put Piper on some clothes. I'm going to leave... Uh, Jacoby in his Elijah Jacoby in his clothes. I'm not worried about changing him no time soon. So that'll be it. And if I take photographs, I'll post them on my Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Oh, really quick. Also, just to put it out here again as a reminder, my Facebook group, I archived it for now i may reopen it with a whole new you know theme or something going on but i just for right now i decided to close that group so mainly you'll be seeing most i'm eventually transitioning to where you'll see most of my content on youtube and instagram facebook is like where i navigate mostly for buying my personal babies and stuff like that and to keep in the know with different topics and stuff like that but um, Instagram and Facebook, um, YouTube is going to be my main source for my babies eventually. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.